guys, today we are doing one of the Mega Sign series Amazing Reactions Reactions Chemistry Set. We are doing an experiment called the Power of Purple. Yes, the power two of purple. Two test tubes. Um two test tubes. Right? Two test tubes. And Red cabbage powder? Is there red cabbage powder? Um, calcium chloride, water jelly crystals, red cabbage powder, and zinc sulfide, calcium, no. I need citric acid. Is there citric acid in here? No. Ah. No. I feel like this is a Yes, that's our acid. And um, baking soda. Small scoop. A small scoop. Scoop. A small scoop and a big scoop. Beaker. One. That's a cup. This is the beaker. And tall cup. Oh, oh no, cardboard. What? No. Use the beaker to measure f uh, 50 milliliters? Ah, 50. Right there. 50 milliliters of water. Water? I'm just gonna do um, filtered. Okay. Oh, actually, past the mark. It's a little past. Oh. Set it. Usually, you set it on a level surface. Set it on that glass thing, yeah, and then see where the line is. You got to get it at eye level. Get the line at eye level to see if you have the right amount in there. Ah, uh, it's above it. Okay. This is big. Is that right? No. Perfect. Just All right. right. Now, add one small scoop of red cabbage. Small scoop. Ah. Uh, well, it comes with. Uh oh. We need to cut it open carefully so that we can. Well, um, there it is. We need that. What do we need it for? To hold things? Yeah. Oh, it does show it in the tray. Can you do it or? Do I have no idea how. Okay, so we have the tray laid out and it will catch any mess that we have. We decided to not fold the tray. Would have been better folded, I'm sure. So that is the red cabbage powder. We need to cut that open big enough to get our scoop in. Not quite big enough. No, not happening. A little bit bigger. There we go. Now that should be big enough. Oh, now we need a way to level that off. The fingers are not working. It's sticking to your fingers. Oh no. What a mess. Maybe a butter knife will work better for that. Let me get one out for that. See about making it a little more level. But 
but we need to do it over the little packet with our cabbage powder so it doesn't go everywhere as much. There we go, perfect. Add that to our water and stir it. Ooh, it's purple. And it stained his fingers, so he's got to rinse it off. No. Okay, stir it good. And then it says to you, you've got to add that to one of the test tubes. Oh, he's doing the baking soda, adding the baking soda to that one. Not quite open enough. There we go. Big scoop for this one. Gotta level that one off too. There we go. Nice and level. Ooh, it turned blue. Went from purple to blue. Now it's time to pour it into the test tube. That is the basic solution. But we're supposed to have a test tube with just the red cabbage powder in it too, which we'll do that in a minute. Almost full. Make sure we put the lid on so it does not spill anywhere. Rinse that out for our next test tube. And we need another 50 milliliters for that one. Perfect. There's our red cabbage powder. Now to scoop it again. And level it again. There we go. Getting it. Ah, perfect. Add that in and stir that one up. And there we are back with that purple. So one test tube will have blue and one is going to have purple. It's going to stain. <laughs> Rinse that off. Now 
It looks blue, but that's because of the blue tray. It looks blue on it. There we go. And there's the purple test tube. The red cabbage powder only in it. Okay. But now we have to add something else to that. There's one more thing we're going to have to do. It's hard to tell the different colors there. Okay. So now I think we have to add that citric acid to the red cabbage powder. We tried to show the different colors that way. It was really hard. There we are with that citric acid scoop that we need to add to the red cabbage powder test tube. And that's going to be the acidic solution. First have to rinse all that off and dry it after that because we don't want the stuff sticking to it, to the spoon. Now we have to open that one up. And make sure that spoon is dry. to level that one too to get enough in the spoon first and there we go with that nice and level Add that in. Ooh, it lightened the color. Now it's more pink. It's pretty cool how that changed color like that. difficult to pour without with the lids on. <laughs> yeah, that might help. Ooh, look at that. So now place the the tall cup in, onto the experiment tray right here. <laughs> we have a label on it and then we have stuff on here. GMW. So we place that there, right? It says Pour the two into it at the same time. So, leave you them. Will, you will have no. to help me with this. Unless I Just take help. the lids off carefully and don't spill them, please. And then... Grab them. Grab them and do it at the same exact time. 
I want to turn purple again. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get a good camera view in here of this. Why was it supposed to? I guess it was oh, yeah. supposed to be that. The power of purple. Fizzy. Look at what it did. Ah, that's why you would do this um, on the tray. Um, oh, the baking soda. The baking and the soda. Acid, the, ace, the acid in the baking soda. Because remember, vinegar and baking soda makes volcanoes erupt when you make your little it's cold. mini volcanoes. All right. Oh, it's like cool. So we saw that it was like a little mini volcano, but with citric acid instead of vinegar interacting with the baking soda. Well, so I think it, some more. it fizzes some more. Just a little bit. I guess that is it for our, this experiment. We have done it. That was the reaction we were looking for. I can hear it. Then I can pour it into a beaker. Uh, okay, well, if you're doing that, do it over the sink because that stuff, there's a reason why they wanted you to do this. And then, into a beaker. Oh, it is mixing. It's going to be more. Hmm. Okay, so that is it for like this one. Like how purple that oh. is. Purple liquid. I'm an evil scientist, now I have concoctions. Ooh. Fizzy Ooh. concoction, it's still, fi oh, don't open the lid, do not open that. Here, open it over a sink because it probably would, over <laughs> that's under pressure now, yeah. <laughs> just like soda, when you shake a soda mm -hmm. and you open it and, and it just goes everywhere. And Mentos. <laughs> Mentos and soda. Oh, didn't do too bad. What happens? All right. Wow, more fizzy. <laughs> How pressurized can I get? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool though. Now what do I do with this substance? I don't know. It's so purple. I love it. All right, so that's pretty awesome. So that was your first experiment with that book, and we'll have to do some more with that kit, I should say. Oh, how about another beaker? How pressurized will this one get? It still has some of that liquid in there. Fizzy. And then Sounds close like the lid. soda. Close it. Sounded like you poured a cup of soda. Let's see how fuzzy this one gets. Over the sink. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. That's the power of purple. And the mess. That is exactly why you need to do it over here. At least it contained it. We don't have any paper towels. It's fine. Bye. Please like and subscribe. Yeah.